Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Scalabro Country, the virus edition, a.k.a. the Pandy Pods. A.k.a. two dudes, nice attitudes. A.k.a. one side, two goats. A.k.a. one egg, four legs. A.k.a. two men, one Afghan between them. A.k.a. one salmon couchy. Two fans of Fauci. We are here. We are giving you, hopefully, what you uh, crave and what you need uh, through this pandemic. Yeah, half hour, 20 minutes, 30 minutes of what just, just... And I realize we've been doing this, I think, for almost six months. Yep. This has become our daily job. It, it feels is. good to prepare this stuff. We uh, hope sometimes, you guys are enjoying it. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes there, there are days where I'm like, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this for the next day, but I'm always happy when we push through. Me too. Me so, too. And we uh, got great stories today, so I want to get into that. Let's them dive right, right away. away. Okay. Right? Uh, remember when we were kids and there was mention of like the mayor of a town? Yeah. You like meet, the mayors, I, they were like, when we were kids, the mayors of two towns that were involved in the World Series or like the Super Bowl, they would, would make some stupid bet. Like, if we, you beat us, we have to buy a case of beer. It was like something ineffectual. It didn't but, matter. But uh, in the abstract, we always thought about like, the guy from Monopoly who's on all the like chance Look like Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. a Shetland Teddy Roosevelt. Shetland T. That's TR. what we thought. All right. But you thought of an old guy, maybe with a monocle, maybe with a mustache. Sure. Who Definitely was, with a monocle. Like circular glasses. So he, a guy with bad vision and only one eye. Right. He's just trying to make better the one eye. But you thought of like an old guy who was like kind of mm-hmm. prudent and responsible for the whole town. In spats. T- taking it on. And yep. that's what he's doing. Well, that's long gone, all right? right? That's history right there. And maybe it never was a thing. Maybe that was just us like misremembering I how think it was. So. I think so. But I think it it's is, like just maybe us thinking about the game Monopoly. Right. But it is starkly clear these days, especially. You don't have to have those. You don't have to be that to be a mayor. Right. Especially in the days of the most racist leader in the whitest of houses. Uh huh. That a lot of mayors are just, the idiots who got elected. That's it. it. Such is the story of this next mayor. Okay. He's a mayor of a town in Virginia. Mm-hmm. Barry Press Graves. Yeah. Press the Graves right now. He sounds like an important distinguished name. Press Graves. You, you Press Graves. You, is like kind of a confection of like a private school jerk. Like Press Prescott Graves. Press Graves the third. Yes. Like is Press what I would Graves call is it. like, like, uh, you know, uh, not Officer Pressgraves, but like Mrs. Mrs. Pressgraves is like the school marm who something. constantly is making people pies that they don't want. Well, then you hear what he posted on Facebook and you're like, oh, no, this, this, this guy's just a dumb, an idiot. dummy. He's a dummy. He needs to be put down like a dog that's kind of foaming at the mouth. All right, maybe like what, bit someone. That let's hear what Barry Pressgraves. Barry Pressgraves, mayor of Luray, Virginia, mm-hmm. dug his own grave, his own press grave, when he posted on Facebook a response to Joe Biden choosing Kamala Harris as his running mate. He actually wrote this before he ch- she chose he chose her. Uh, this is what the dummy wrote. He wrote, Joe Biden has just announced Aunt Jemima as his running mate. It's not funny. That's not even remotely funny. By the way, that's not funny if you weren't the mayor. If you were just some douchebag Someone's somewhere. Uncle. You're like, and it's 100% racist. So it's right. 0% funny right. and 100% Racist. Like you can't even be like, oh, I see what he was trying to do there. No, it's you, you're just saying so, you no. Know, it's th- so so. This came out by the way before she picked. He picked Kamala Harris. So it's not even necessarily directed at Harris. It's it's like a deeper, more general. It was directed at the fact that he said he was going to choose a, a woman, woman of and color. we all kind of assumed it was going to be a woman of color. He said it was going to be, and it's put out in the world to so, discredit. But what, what if he chose Tammy Duckworth? Or or Whitman from uh, Meg Whitman Gretchen, or Gretchen, Gretchen Whitman Whit- Whitmer from, Whitmer from uh, I thought you were gonna do Christine Todd Whitman no Christine. it's 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 Gretchen Whit Gretchen Whitmer but Tammy from, Duckworth yeah. okay so it's okay so I remember Miss Butter Miss Butterworth or Miss Butterworth or Aunt Jemima it's Aunt, Aunt Jemima. Jemima is it Miss Butterworth or <laughs> Mrs Butterworth I don't remember a Mister Butterworth okay. So either way, this dummy put this out in the world. Maybe to, he died. To discredit. Maybe he died in the war. Yeah. The Great Pancake Wars of 2000. Right. So this guy put this out there to discredit whoever yeah. Joe Biden selects. That's yeah. what we know. Of course, yeah. of course, later he did a full-throated mea culpa. But, but not right away. And that's the thing. Initially, he refused to apologize. That's it. Great that's idea. That's a good idea. Just dig in, you 
freaking dinosaur. Yeah, you too will be extinct soon. Dig into your hate. Keep doing it, dummy. Of course, then he received backlash and he told the Page Valley News, which I always read the Page yes, Valley I News mean, first. I don't go anywhere without my Page Valley News. Uh, he, that he, quote, had no idea that people would react the way they did. Again, you're blaming other people for their oh, reaction you could handle to this. my little po like no 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 no. no, no. And and you had no idea that you're people would react this way? that people would have a reaction to your like inflammatory thing. Really? The whole no point. idea. No you, clue that this would piss anyone off at all. By the way, you suck as a mayor if you can't read the room. You can't read that your constituents would be mad at this. That isn't being a mayor 50% of it knowing what your constituents want or yeah. how they would react. You you couldn't but you couldn't predict that people would find this to be racist and pejorative. Like you couldn't, you couldn't have even like, not even a part of you was like, Hey, I'm going to put this out hey, there and it's going to ruffle. Maybe some I should. Maybe you shouldn't be in a business that, by the way, that's at least 50% reading people. But we're fully aware that a lot of people don't like this show. They yeah. don't like the opinions that we have. We're aware of that. I, I, when we say the dummy in the racist white house, like, we know that like half the people are going to hear us say that and then completely discredit us. And hey, it's, we're aware of that. Yeah. We're not the mayor of a town, but right. it doesn't take that much awareness to be like, oh, hey, in these times, if you say something that's like remotely inflammatory, yeah, a lot of people are going to be mad. We're aware of that. But this guy apparently has no awareness. Right. So anyone who trolls us, by the way, like out there in the universe or trolls our comedy or whatever, my first thought, I go, I look at their page and I'm like, oh, you you don't like our politics, so that's why you're taking this opportunity to try right. and like right. dump on anything else we're doing. Uh, it's called awareness. That's mm -hmm. what we have. Mm -hmm. And this guy, surprisingly, has, has zero, zero awareness. He's completely unaware. Uh, I And this is what he wrote, okay? He wrote, I think people have gone overboard on this. No, it's, no. It's an election year. No, no. It doesn't matter if it was an election year or not. You post this any year. So wait a second. So what you're saying is if this wasn't an election year, people would be, as my kids say, lolling, yeah. LOLing. Yeah, your they would. Hilarious post yeah. until the cows come home. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. He also, by the way, added that he's not going to resign. Really. Oh, little piggy not digging resign. in. Little piggy digging, digging in. Digging in. That was his initial reaction. That was his most real reaction. That was his gut reaction. Okay. Then reality sets in. He received a ton of backlash from the residents. So then he deletes the post. That's always the first sign. Flip, flop. That's when you know that, that, you, that no you did conviction. something wrong. No convictions. That's Stand right. by your post if Stand you're racist. Stand by it, man. Stand by it. I thought you- Dig let's, in. Let's blame the people of your town. So the act of the the suddenly deleting the thing mm -hmm. shows that you realize that either you know it's wrong now or you can start to see it being harmful to you. That's right. Following the post, a councilwoman from Luray urged him to resign. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Then the whole town issued a statement. The whole town on Twitter. The whole town has a Twitter account. Do they and do they share the password? They have so that one anyone password. Can post? Got, that's it. Okay. Do they all have? All right. Either way. This is what the whole town said. I can't right. wait to hear this. The mayor of Luray, Barry Pressgraves, needs to be replaced. Yep. All right. That's not mincing birds. They nope. only have 140 characters. Right? You get like 240, 260, 280. The blatant racism that he posts on his Facebook is disgusting and unacceptable. This is great. Yeah. Idiotic racism cannot be normalized. The, norm, the number to call Luray Town Offices is 540-743-5511. And call it. Anyone wants call to call it. 540-743-5511. Go ahead and call it. 540-743-5511. I love that the phrase idiotic racism cannot be normalized. It's a killer it's phrase. There. That's killer great. phrase. It's like the phrase dipshittery or Can't whatever. Can't be normalized. So True. That, so then Press Graves was feeling the heat. Feeling the heat. So then he Digging issued, his own Press Graves. So then he issued the obligatory, empty, empty full-throated apology. What does he this say? This way he said, I want to make this very clear to everyone. Okay. Good. Meaning, I need meaning you to that, clarify for meaning me. Meaning that like, I'm going to- We gonna, can't understand If I were to ways. say this the way I wanted to, people would admit not take it the right way. So it's your fault. Let me make this clear Starts to everyone. Starts on the defensive. With absolutely no qualifications. I understand what I posted on social media was wrong, offensive, and unbecoming. Well, I would add dumb, racist, and cancer. And career-ending, career too. Mm -hmm. It's cancerous and it's career-ending. So let's add that. Can yeah. Continue. Uh, I also want to make a direct apology to all people of color. He spelled color C O L O U R, which I know is a way to spell. Yeah, it, I mean it's it is good if you're in like Sheffield and women passing off demeaning and worn out racial stereotypes as humor. And again, H spelled humor H A U R mm -hmm. isn't funny, which makes me believe that he didn't write this. No, like a British person wrote this for him. Like so, making fun of worn out 
making fun of worn out racial stereotypes can be funny though. Yeah. I'm going to say that. Yeah, that is. And it's too bad that you weren't doing that. You were just being a, a racist, racist hack. hack. Quote, I now fully understand how hurtful it is. Oh, now you understand. Yeah, because everyone called for your job. Right, That's you, when it you might understand. cost you your job. Mm -hmm. and you're, Okay, all right. Now you, you fully understand. I can and will do better, and we can all do better. We must. We? we don't bring us into this. Who's we? This is you. This was you only caused up. by you, buddy. We didn't do anything. That's right. We just watched you screw up. We don't up. need to do any better. You need to do better. From the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. Are you sure we're not sorry? You want to say that? And I'm humbly, I humbly ask for your forgiveness and your grace. Why should we give you our grace? That's right. That's what I want to know. When you didn't give us yours at all. So a lot of this stuff is the right thing to say, but these weren't these the weren't initial, the initial that thoughts came of this guy. Yeah, we'll judge you on the way you felt right afterwards it's when you like, weren't going to apologize. It's like when your kids screw up. All right. So then they start crying and then they start saying the things you want them to hear. The and one they say they how say. bad they are. It's damage control. It is. They realize they did something wrong. And now they're they trying to like, they might not have their friends sleep over. Right. So can we cut this off? I'm such a bad kid. Da, 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 da. And he wouldn't have said any of this, by the way. You know that if there was zero backlash. That's right. If he had no backlash to the Facebook post. Dude is a mayor. He's not like the mayor of racist Uncleville. No, it's He's a, of an actual city, a that, town in Virginia that has its own Twitter account. Mayor McCheese has more gravitas than this dummy. Mayor Hawthorne, who doesn't care about politics in the least, is more fit to leave. This guy's, guy's got to go. Get this him guy out, has man. to go. Look, I, I, I appreciate a full-throated apology. I understand, and I will give people an opportunity to grow as people. Problem is, as we said before, the initial is reaction not, was the truthful one. The initial reaction. This wasn't his initial reaction. If someone does something unknowingly, okay, and offends a bunch of people, and their first reaction out of the gates is, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Not, I'm not resigning. Not, I can't believe you took not, it this way. Not, we can do better. I'm surprised people reacted this way to it. If, 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 if you try to go in and dig in and then suddenly it's not working, then you backtrack. backtrack. No. No, we're going to call you on it. I'm sorry. That doesn't work. That's not how it works. And you can spend all your off time now uh, developing good comedy instead of what you thought was comedy. You horrible was hack. Really just a racist remark. All right. That's our first story. Down in the, in books. the books. Are you ready? We yes. got another one coming up. We, we got, got ourselves a thing. Kevin. We got ourselves a Kevin. It's the male version of Karen. I think it should be Ken, but I guess Karen, I, Kev, Kevin's pretty good. Karen and Kevin is perfect. We got a Kevin on the other side of the break. This is uh, Scarborough Country, the virus edition. Don't go anywhere. Set. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. We are so uh, happy to be doing this for you. I want to mention that we are doing a live Dumb People Town again on September 26th. It's a Saturday night, uh, Saturday night, September 26th. We are going to be uh, doing it live with Mike Berbiglia and Mike Doty of uh, the band Soul Coughing, the lead singer. We did it this past Saturday night. It was so good with it's Jim Gaffigan. It's so much fun and it's about halfway sold out, which means by September, it's probably going to be gone. It's going to be close. So if you want to get tickets, go to eventbrite.com. Look up live Dumb People Town September this 26th. This is a great way to support live comedy and also get an awesome night out, but being in. Yeah, it was so it's cool. It's a safe night. On the, uh, the pre-show meet and greet and the post-show meet and greet, there were people from Ireland, uh, Tennessee, Arkansas, Colorado, Maine. It was D.C. It a was lot of so places cool. that we haven't been to to do live stand-up so comedy. So it's great to be able to bring it to we're you. We're coming way. to your house. All right. So should we jump into this story, Jay? Because we got ourselves a Kevin. All right. So we've been, we've been down this road before. Right. Dumb person. A Karen, a Kevin, Kevin, decides to go into a store and not wear a mask. Then the employee from the store asks them to put on asks, asks, doing their job, which, by the way, you're not allowed in the store if you're not wearing the mask. So they decide to wear the mask, and then they go on a racist rant. Yeah. It's almost like we said. It's At hacking. this point, we've seen it. Like, be creative. At this point, I'm still, I'm shocked it's still happening, but it is. It, you shouldn't be shocked. We got another one. That's it. This one's from Campbell, California. Yep. A dumb white dude went into a Marshalls in a shirt and tie. That might be the most unbelievable part. He actually thing. looked a little professional, this Kevin. Like, the, okay, so this is a different kind of dumb racist. This right. is this is not a you know dude draped in the Confederate flag or wearing like a sleeveless Rush Limbaugh shirt with jorts. This is like 
a Tucker Carlson wannabe. That's yep. what he looks like. And right? he stepped into Marshall's looking for a fight, looking to get it on. Which, by the way, that's no different than anyone else who walks into a Marshall's. Yeah, whenever I walk into a Marshall's, I'm like prepared to get cold cock. I, I'm expecting to get shiv if I'm walking into a Marshall's. Just Sucker punch. Punched in notions. Like I'm looking at greeting cards and then whack in the S- side of my just head. stuffed into a piece of rolling luggage. And that's, then you just, I'm like, that is what is going to happen to me in there. Then you just work your way backwards from that. That's Marshall's. If you step in and then out of a Marshall's and don't get into a fight, you won. That's a rare. You're ahead you, of the game. You win at Marshalls. But this douchebag was looking for an entirely different kind of fight, and he wanted to start the fight, okay? Yeah. So when these employees who have to be there, these poor people have to be there, all right? Mm-hmm. I, I feel for them. They don't own the place. They're not in a position to say, I'm not coming to work because I don't no. feel comfortable And they're being not there. getting paid enough to deal with this guy. They're getting paid minimum wage or just above it, okay? They realize- when you when you when you understand that dynamic mm-hmm. that situation these people are just here they're representing the company they're doing what they're being told to do from down in the top and again not getting paid enough to be de- and this isn't part of their job description it, it almost makes the guy who's like challenging them and getting in their face like it's their rules that they're putting on him that much more of an idiot and an asshole that yeah. you can't figure it out so schmucker carlson i'm going to call him that that's what we're calling him uh, walks around the store in which his by tie. the way you could call tucker carlson that schmucker carlson mm-hmm. walks around the store in his tie pink shirt and khakis no mask clearly he should wear a mask yeah. right he could have worn a mask. It's not. I mean, you spent the time to tie, tie a, a tie, tie and go into a Marshalls. You can't put a thing Is on. there ever like a less necessary piece of clothing to wear into a Marshalls than a tie? People, yeah, you just know. It's not beyond his resources to get a mask. He's choosing not to so have that's it. the mask. That's it. All right? The employee confronts him. And this tells is when, him, this is when he goes nuts. He tells him brain. he needs to wear one, okay? First- and this is where it gets, this to me is where I get so upset about mm-hmm. this. He threatens that if the guy forces him to wear a mask, it's going to cost the employee seventy-three or $75,000. So he's citing some bogus law that doesn't exist. And a bogus agency, the Freedom to Breathe Agency. Aren't these the assholes who like have the cards? Yeah, they made a fake card and a fake agency, the face mask exempt card. Yeah. Which shouldn't the, it be the face mask exemption card? By the way, you, yeah, it should be exemption card. By the way, you the fifty thousand tickets at Chuck E. Cheese is worth more than that one face. And you know what fifty thousand tickets at Chuck E. Cheese gets you? Like you can buy two tickets. No, it gets you syphilis. Right, that's what you get when you're up in the human habit trail at Chuck E. Oh, Cheese. Oh yeah. So in the name of intimidating anyone who might ask you to wear a mask in this in in a business, you, you get hold these out cards, this card, pull the card, you, you cart the card out. Yeah. So you so this let me get this straight. You took the time to, to create a, a fake business with a fake card, Think fake of, logo, create all this legalese language all over the card. Again, to, you could have just gotten a surgical mask and walked into Marshall's. Okay. That takes less than a minute to do to put that and on. It helps protect us more. Because so, now you taking out your card and spewing out what you're saying and sp- expectorating out into the you've Marshalls. Done, you have done a ton of work to avoid doing a little, a little work. bit. Yep. That, that's who you Shows are. Shows what a dummy you are. So this asshat tries to intimidate these employees at Marshall. And I, look, I, if Did you just call it Marshall? Marshalls. Mm-hmm. If you're an employee at Marshalls. I want to see the movie We Are Marshalls. Them. Just these, te- them taking down the tragedy that is these people who like to shop in there without we masks are on. We Marshalls. Marshalls. All right. If you look at an employee at Marshalls, let me start by saying you're- th- it's probably not their first choice in their life. And that's not okay. knocking the work. Yeah. You're just saying, great that they have it. But if you ask a bunch of four-year-olds, what do you want to be when you grow up? Surprisingly, very few of them are like, I'd like to work at the Marshalls checkout line. They're that, just not going to hear that one. Even fewer say, I want to be in a Marshalls employee who has to tell an entitled dick bag that he has to put on a mask, even though for everyone else's safety. It's not my and rule. for his safety. Right. And then you can just... In this video, you can just see the poor employees stand there, not sure if this guy's telling the truth or not. So they are confused because white guy in a suit, white guy in a tie telling him you're going to have to pay $75,000. Nobody wants that. Telling a person of color, low income person of color in that moment, like trying to burn a bunch of legalese out there. I'm not saying these guys don't understand legalese, but but I could see that they were in, they were hesitant because they weren't sure if well, I were standing there, I'd be weirded out. Yeah, if someone it. starts throwing like laws at you and they seem like they know what they're talking about, yeah, there's a moment where no matter who you are, 
no matter what race you are, no matter what person you are, you're going to be like, wait, is this person telling the truth? I don't Can know. Can they do that to me? Can, and it's clear that this guy... He's at, he knows what he's doing. He's looking at these people going like, I, I can, can put one over them. them. I, I can, can intimidate these people. I can get in their face. They're not so, planning on this. They're not trained. No one trains you at Marshalls to be like, oh, by the way, if someone pulls out a card, someone's going to try and throw some non We got fooled. You got fooled by a social security Coke card. So someone calls from a quote unquote official number. It's this is how people scam people. That's this right. is why scams work. That's right. It happens to everyone across the board, no matter where you are, no matter what you know, education level you have, no matter what age you are, no matter what, you know, economic, it cuts across all levels. It's Everyone unreal. can easily get fooled by someone That's like That's right. If you come with confidence and you seem like you know what you're talking about, it, there's a moment where you're like, I don't know if this person's telling the truth or not, so I don't know what to do. So, so then they decided to call the cops. They threatened to call the cops on this guy, which was a great move, by right. the way. To which- he then starts spewing racist and homophobic slurs. Yeah, that's, that's when your all the legalese goes out. The yeah, window. you're like, oh, okay, all right. So this is a fake card. So this is a fake card. So like, that's a tell right there. You Anytime someone gets racist and homophobic, you're like, all right, all right. Yeah, we if know you, what we're if doing. If you are really in the legal right, you have no need to go to that place. No, you don't. You you all you have to do is be like, okay, you're going against the law. I'm going to call my lawyer. You That's can right. do that all through a smile. Mm -hmm. The second you start getting heated because someone's not giving you what they want, now we know that you don't, you're don't. you not holding right. any cards. You're, you're not holding you're, anything. You're bluffing. The full thing you're doing is a bluff. And look, that it, comes out when you're losing, right? It, if, that's a, that's right. A, that's if a he losing just came strategy. out and was like, look, here's the document. Look at this. I'm going to talk to my lawyer. You owe 75000 You would feel worse. The, that's calmer more he got, the calmer he got, the worse you would feel. Okay, that comes out when you're losing. Then here, come, here comes the capper. For reasons that I, I don't understand, I don't know, only this known is Kevin on full display. He unzips his pants and makes like he's going to take his dong out of his pants. Is that, wait, is that part of the legal argument? All rise? Yeah, I guess. Let me check my briefs. Yeah, I, I don't know. What they, he's on camera doing this. Someone is filming. He knows he's on camera. This is when you call the cops and walk away. That's this right. is when you realize, okay, this guy is not a lawyer. And again, this the amount of energy it takes to unzip your pants and do that, you could have put a mask on. Yes. Yes. All that team. That's, I mean, these are the lengths at which people are willing to go instead of having to wear a mask in a store. They're willing to unzip their pants and whip their dick out. Yep. At a store. Yep. And when you think Even about it, that's that's essentially what they're doing by mm -hmm. fighting this so hard. They're exposing themselves. They're exposing themselves for the tiny dick little fools that they are. That's right. That's what they're doing when they do when they fight against a mask in a store for 30 minutes, for 15 minutes. If, if you hate way, it so much, shop online. Right. And even if that's what you believe in, this is not your rules because it's not your store. You, you got to do what they tell you. That's like right. Like if you're the type of person who's like, you know what? I hate wearing shoes in the house. I don't wear shoes when I eat dinner. It's, it feels restricted to me. I just don't like to do it. I sit around the table. I like to sit around in my bare feet. Fine. You, you still can't go can't to in go and do out that at, a at a restaurant. That's right. You can't walk into a restaurant, kick your shoes off and walk around the restaurant in your bare feet at a nice restaurant. You can't. They'll be like, hey, dude, you got to put your shoes on or you're out of here. They'll call security and you're gone. They'll rough you up. They'll throw you down. They'll beat you down if you try and fight this. Mm -hmm. And they're right to do so because that's the, those are the rules of the business. Agreed. It's like, we're not in the laws of the land. You've stepped into a business. They have the right to boot you. Absolutely. So you pulling out some like card and trying to pull like to, no, the government can, here's a fact to everyone across the board. The government cannot tell somebody what they can do. They cannot tell them. No, it's not going to happen. They cannot tell you what you, what they can and can't do based on your behavior. I say, send this dipshit to Hotspot Island. That's it. Send them there. Hotspot Island with the rest of them. You Let go. them sort it out. If yep. this is a hoax, watch them all go down. That's right. The world will be a better place with less of these people. Just let them all get infected. No one has to wear a mask. No hospitals. No return flights. Hotspot Island. This guy is the mayor. Send this dude to Hotspot Island. You, you can, can make be, up cards for everyone. Or if he's not the mayor, it's the other guy from the other story is the mayor. We got two mayors of Hotspot Island. They can run off against each other. You can be the head of the face mask exempt society. And it should be exemption. It should be. You're a dummy. I don't mean to tell you your business, but that's what it should be. All right. That's there a you show, go. you guys. There that's you it. go. Uh, sorry, we got a little emotional there. No, I got heated. You know, I got upset. Hey, dude, I, I got, got heated. heated. You got Anytime a guy walks into Marshall's without a mask on and, and starts yelling at employees, he's going to sit there going to pay $75,000. You got to deal with us. I, you're going to fight. You, you mess with the bull. You get the sclars. That's it. That's the way it goes. All right, guys. This is, uh, I want you to stay protected, stay connected, but don't get infected. Wear a mask. This is not a hoax. We got the jokes. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Lights,
Ta-ti-ta-ti-ta-ti-ta La-ti-ta-ti-ta-ti-ta La-ti-ta-ti-ta-ti-ta